you know, I always take things uh, through the lens of the customer, right? Our retail partners is what are they feeling? How are they drawing consumers into their stores? And just like keeping kind of that, that focus uh, along this entire journey and evolving too, because you can't be stale in our space, right? There, we've gone through more change in the last five years than I think the grocery industry has ever gone through. Uh, and it's quite remarkable. So uh, for me, I just, like, I love it. It's, uh, it is a journey. It's, uh, it's just, it's a fun thing to see the transformation happening and be part of it too, and really set the foundation of what that means. And then, you know, thinking, in the future too, what's going to happen in three, five years to our industry and how is the, you know, reducing friction and the entire commerce experience, what's that going to look like? Are people going to be selling groceries? You know, when you pull into the parking lot, are groceries going to be for sale in the parking lot as well? If you forget your milk or eggs, you know, it's cool to start to visualize what that means. Mm -hmm. uh, and we won't even talk about the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Metaverse is interesting one. Now, you know, I, I like the click and collect, but there may be some people who want to go back in the metaverse and pull it off the shelf. I know. Exactly. Right. Well, I, uh, I also run category leadership and the metaverse, you know, internally is really intriguing because you can start to really kind of think through a real shopping experience and understand how's your packaging look on shelf? What's the assortment look on shelf? Building that brand wall. So it is pretty cool. All the uses for the metaverse. Yeah, it gives digital shelf a whole new meaning. Mm -hmm, exactly.